The Yankees win, and they didn't even need an Aaron Judge home run. Seven straight wins for the Bronx Bombers. What a ride this team is on here. Uh, give me my thoughts here real quickly because I have to do a, a Lakers-Jazz postgame show in just a few minutes here. Um, the big reason why the Yankees won this game, Garrett Cole, another fantastic start from him. And the thing they were talking about during the game, during the rain delay, was the fact that he's not even at the best that he is right now. That he could be better. That, that we know he can do better. And yet, even though he's not at his best right now, he's still pitching really well. Three straight wins from him. Um, a 2.5 ERA, a six innings, five hits, one run, four strikeouts tonight. Again, we know he can do better. We saw it last year. And to think that, again, he's only scratching the surface of what he can do. As a Yankee fan right now, you have to be just over the moon at his talent. Um, he's been everything that we've hoped to be so far. Now, it's really only going to matter if he can do it in the postseason. But now, if you're here, three games in, you feel just so great about him um, as a New York Yankee. You love having him. Thank you, Cashman, for getting him. And um, I, right now, I just love the way he's been, he's been pitching for us right now. I don't know how long he's going to keep pitching like this. I don't know if the streak's eventually going to end. But three straight wins, three straight great performance is exactly what the Yankees needed. And then, of course, the other reason why they win tonight, the offense. Even though they didn't need a judge home run, judge did get two hits tonight. DJ, another home run. Look out, Ted Williams. DJ Malamay, he was batting 400 on August 3rd. Okay, he's batting 412. Look out for this guy uh, to have a 400 season. Um, I honestly don't know if he's going to do it, but he's, he's doing it right now, and he's probably been the best hitter on this team outside of Aaron Judge. Um, he's been the best contact hitter. You have Brett Gardner. Once again, this guy um, hit a big home run. Uh, even though his batting average is not great, he's had some big hits so far. Aaron Hicks, an RBI double on the third. Gio Urshela, another great home run from him. He's been terrific so far. Got a couple of big home runs, and he did it here in the sixth, and that really ended the game right there. Right after that, the Yankees' bullpen struggled a little bit, but Gio's home run put it out of reach. Yankees win seven in a row. They're 8-1. They continue to have the best record in baseball. Love it, love it, love it. Everything that I've wanted from this team so far, they have done. They have delivered. They hit well. They pitch well. The bullpen's been pretty good. And now um, we get ready for the first seven-inning doubleheader for the Yankees. Uh, that will be tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. They're not playing tomorrow because of the hurricane or the tropical storm. They'll play two games on Wednesday, and we'll see how they do there. And Hopefully they get uh, those ones there. But, again, right now, if you're a Yankee fan, just you, you are just so happy and so ecstatic about the way this team continues to win game after game after game. Beating the, the, the Nationals, the Orioles, the Red Sox, the Phillies, it doesn't matter. They've, they've blown past everybody in their way. They continue to do a great job. They did it here again tonight. Love the way this team is playing and a great win here today. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back Wednesday to talk about the Yankee doubleheader. I'll be back after the Lakers-Jazz game with post-game reaction on that. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.